Hello and welcome to the channel. So all these containers are set up with a variety of vegetables. I got my beets, carrots, some lettuces, uh, spinach, arugula, all planted up here. And I also got my second zone of drip irrigation set up in these containers. So I just want to give you a quick run through of how I've set up this second zone. So as you can see here, I have my quarter inch irrigation tubing. In my last video, I was showing you how I set up a system here for my potatoes. And I kept referring to this tubing as three quarter inch, but is actually half inch. So I had this quarter inch tubing teed off and set up the irrigation system here in the potato patch. And then from there, this line now leads over to my containers. From there, we got another T line set up here in between the containers and it tees off and is heading over here to my next zone, which will be coming up in a future video. Okay, so I'm hoping that I can show you how to set up some emitter uh, drip system in containers here. So I've already got one going over here already. So this is my test run here with some of this emitter hose that I set up kind of in a spiral um, set up here. I ran the, the water for about 20-30 minutes today and as you can see it seems to be getting the whole container very nice and uh, wet so I think this is going to work good. This is where I plan to grow some carrots, beets, lettuces all down these containers. So. I'm going to use this as my guideline for measuring another piece of the emitter hose and get one set up in this container. So once you get one built, it's pretty easy to get several more going. It doesn't require a lot of parts. Basically, you just need a barb, a barbed uh, connector to tap into this three quarter inch hose using this tool. And then once you get a piece of the emitter hose in place, you just cap off the end with one of these goof plugs. So first thing is to get a piece of this emitter hose about the same size as what I got here. Once I get one of these uh, measured out I will cut several of them before putting them into the ground here. Just make sure when you're cutting it you're staying away from where these little emitters are you can tell where they are because it's kind of a little bit thicker in that space and they're about you know an inch and a half wide so I'm just going to cut away from that I can't remember what this tool is called it starts with an X I'd have to look it up but it's uh it's very slick because you just can put your little barbs and connectors right into this end piece here and it holds it and then all you have to do is just push it into your three quarter inch hose. Get that barb in there, twist it off and it just pops right off. And then if you ever put it in the wrong spot or need to move it, this little thing here will just grab it and pull it right out. And then you can plug your hole with a goof plug, which is one of these guys here going to kind of space it out to see if this is going to work. So I need another nine of these cut to go into all my containers. So I'm going to do that first before I set this up. So I said they call this the goof plug. So this is what plugs up the ends of your hoses wherever you need to. Or uh, if you put something in the wrong spot or need to close off a hole, these things will plug it up really good. Let's see once I get that. Oh, I guess I should have used my tool. So there the end is plugged off now. And this end here we're just going to attach to this spot here. It's just a little bit of wiggling and sh pushing back and forth and it'll get attached good. It helps if it's been sitting in the sun 
and the pipe's a little bit warm. So I think we got it in place there. I'm going to just grab a few of these stakes and start setting it up in your container so that it is going to distribute the water all throughout. kind of something you just got to play with a little bit turn on the water see where your emitters are sometimes you have to do a little adjusting okay so I kind of think this is gonna be good so now I'm just going to go turn on the water and we'll see how it is spreading out here if it's working out good. So as you can see here, the water is starting to come out. Wherever there's a tiny little hole here, it's just coming out as a dribble. So it's really hard to tell right off the get-go if you have it set up. You pretty much have to let it run for 20 minutes or so just to see how it spreads out and if there's any dry spots. So I plan to plant up three containers of carrots here, three containers of beets, and I've got the irrigation system figured out. So before I get planting, I just want to refresh the soil a bit here. These containers have some pretty good soil in here right now. I'm just going to add in some organic fertilizer. So this is just an organic all-purpose 444 that I'm putting in. I also have some compost that I just sifted from my compost pile. Work a little bit of that in there. This should be a nice loose soil for the carrots couple weeks away yet from last frost so it's still fairly cool temperatures which carrots like as well so I've got three types of carrots we're going to plant up today two of them I got from TNT seeds in Manitoba the hybrid mocum baby this one's got a very short uh, days to maturity so I'm kind of excited to see how quickly I can get some baby carrots 56 days and then I got the Nante Corliss which are 65 and the Danvers half long carrot. So these are all quite popular uh, carrots that do well here on the prairies so they're usually the, the go-to uh, types of carrots that I usually plant. So we're dealing with some high wind again today just try to make sure my seeds don't blow away. So I'm not really finicky about trying to space out my seeds when I'm planting them. As you can see, these have a bit of a coating on them. The seeds are not to be eaten by anything, but it makes it just a little bit easier to spread them. But I like to put them in fairly thick and then just thin them out as they grow. Try to spread them, but not gonna to worry too much about that. Things with this, these coated seeds, you can actually see where they are. Okay, so that's the Mocum baby. So now that we got our carrots planted, we can put the drip emitters back in place here.
once I let this run for 10 or 15 minutes you can kind of judge and see if it's keeping everything getting everything wet where it should be and then kind of adjust from there the little trick that I uh, learned that I just wanted to show you is to bring out a <clears throat> you know a coffee carafe or something thermos of boiling water and then you just need to just heat up your hose a little bit for just a few seconds in the hot water and it should go on a lot easier that way just wiggle it on and then you got a nice tight seal and you're ready to get your line in place and turn on the water so I'm just going to manually set the timer here for 10 minutes it automatically defaults to 10 so the water should be kicking in so let's go check it out can see the dripping is starting so I'll just kind of watch these over the next 10 minutes and see how the uh, the water spreads around so make sure everything's getting some moisture so these three containers is where I'm going to be planting my beets I'm going to get the soil ready get them planted and then get these emitter hoses in place so beets are all planted, the emitters are in place, and I've had the uh, irrigation running for about 20 minutes now. Just trying to see how well saturated it gets. I think there's probably just a little bit of maneuvering and troubleshooting to kind of make sure that everything is getting some moisture. But for now, I'm going to put a light layer of some chopped up straw on top as a mulch and to keep that moisture in and help those carrots and beets germinate. So I hope you enjoyed watching me set up my drip irrigation here in my container garden and stay tuned for future videos coming up where I will be setting up drip emitters, a little bit different system than what I have going over here. So it's going to be another zone of watering coming up in future videos. So please leave a comment, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening.